St. Louis meteorologists learned a lot from the tornadoes in Edwardsville and Defiance that day. Five on your sides, Tracy Henson continues our team coverage. She delves into what's next for forecasting in the Midwest. Tracy Holden from a meteorology standpoint, the Edwardsville and Defiance tornadoes went as forecast. We had three days notice of a severe system 24 hours out. We knew the next day would be dicey and then the day of multiple warnings went out ahead of those tornadoes. Every desk was filled. Um, you know, we were staffed up quite a bit. Which goes to show you the tornadoes on December 10th, 2021 did not come as a surprise to St. Louis meteorologists. We could see the system several days out. It looked like it was going to be, or the worst of it was going to be further to the south of the St. Louis area. It wasn't until uh, about a day or so ahead of time that it looked like we were going to get better fuel for thunderstorms further north into the St. Louis area. And that is what happened. Hearing your sirens, now is the time to take action. As much warning as meteorologists could give, was given on that day. Technology is increasing that we can detect tornadoes from the radar when they are ongoing. And it's technology that meteorologists expect will improve forecasting and tracking in the future. Well, there's lots of potential um, for improvement and we're seeing a lot of great technology come out. You know, in terms of radar, there there's various types of um, uh, artificial intelligence algorithms that can can help, you know, provide clues and hints, uh, kind of like a second set of eyes that, that can guide us through the warning process. For now, forecasting and tracking will look the same as last year. We do a really good job of that now, but of course there's there's still room for improvement so that, you know, we can give, you know, uh, local officials, members of the public, you know, greater heads up that, hey, you know, maybe not necessarily that this storm will produce a tornado, but that the probability it has of producing a tornado is very high over the next hour to two hours. Now that is the exciting part of meteorology. It is ever evolving and improving. Forecasts are growing more and more certain and tracking is becoming more precise.